Hey everybody, Spring Dog Billy here doing song number 487. In 487 days in a row, we started on August 7th of 2020. Been doing one song every day and publishing it on my Stray Dog Billy YouTube channel. We're going to keep on doing this till the COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control. We can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band. Guitars, drums, more keyboards. Please check out our website, straydog.org, where our deck nickname, nickname Stray Dog Belly after uh, co-founding that no-kill dog shelter, which we'll talk about in a minute. After today's song, uh, we've kind of changed the uh, the set here uh, so that we can put the guitar player right there, which uh, will be happening soon. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later also. Let's do the, the song. This is called uh, uh, Gonna Have a Good Time Tonight. It's the original. If, you, if a blues can be an original. Anyway, here we go. Two, three, four. <laughs> Please check out our website, straydog.org. That is where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy. After co-founding that no-kill dog shelter, we named Stray Dog. My wife and I, the late Pat Arnold, back in 1994, we started the shelter. And we became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 1997 with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated. And then that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS in 1998 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations and contributions to the shelter tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law. We're still going strong today, still rescuing, rehabilitating when necessary, and adopting out formerly homeless, formerly stray dogs and once in a while cats to good homes. And we're going to keep on doing this still there is no more overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world in the United States of America and ultimately hopefully around the entire world. Adoptions, adoptions, adoptions. That's one of the main focuses of all shelters and pounds across the country because we want to save as many lives of these precious animals who have already been born and are here waiting for homes. In 2019, we adopted out from all shelters and pounds across the country 
3.2 million dogs and cats were adopted out. It happened to be about an equal number, 1.6 million dogs, 1.6 million cats in the year 2019. It's not always an equal number, but it was almost. That's 4,400 dogs adopted out every single day. 4,400 cats also adopted out every single day of the year 2019. That's a tremendous accomplishment. We saved a whole bunch of precious animals. Tremendous accomplishment. However, and there's a very dark side, a very tragic side to this overpopulation problem, and that is that we are still, as a society across this country, using euthanasia to get rid of, which is a terrible term, but it's the truth, the extras, the ones that haven't been able to be adopted out, that can't be adopted out. We are euthanizing 1,700 dogs and cats on the average, and this is a low figure. If you Google it, you'll see it up to maybe 3,000 per day. Still, today, yesterday, tomorrow, the next day, it's it least 1700 I got that from Best Friends Animal Society in a newsletter. So let's go with that figure, 1700 per day. Terrible, terrible tragedy. We cannot let this continue. Well, it was far worse 10 years ago. In 2011, we were euthanizing across this country 7,000 dogs and cats every single day. And in the year 1970, 51 years ago, we were euthanizing across this entire nation from all the shelters and pounds except no kill dog shelters. You were euthanizing 41,000 dogs and cats every single day of the year 1970. Now, it's gotten a lot, better, a lot better ever since. We're down to 1,700 now, but that's still far too many. So what do we have to do in addition to more and more adoptions? Because all those who have been born deserve to have a, a life. What do we got to do to get this 1,700 down to zero? Now we know that mama dogs and mama cats, with the help of papa dogs and papa cats, are going to keep on delivering to us to take care of them for them. Litter after litter after litter after litter of puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens. We know that this is what's going on and what has been going on. It's going on a lot less now, but it's still going on. And that's where the problem is. We have to get control of conception. We have to stop conception. You stop conception, there will be no more overpopulation problem. How do you stop conception? Well, we've known about it for decades and decades and decades. It's called spay and neuter in the dog and cat world. That's what we got to do, everybody. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Stray Dog Billy One Man Band.